Locally, activists are reviving their call for U.S. Marshals to wear body cameras after one of them shot and injured a young man yesterday outside a South Memphis gas station. On top of that, the TBI said the person shot wasn't even the suspect the Marshals were after. In tonight's top story, local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is near that gas station in South Memphis where a protest is happening right now. Uh, Brad, where, what is going on where you are? Yeah, Richard, this is happening right outside that gas station where yesterday's shooting happened. It started at about 4.30, as you can see behind me right now. Dozens of people are here at this Mapco gas station demonstrating against yesterday's shooting, which is the second time in 14 months here in Memphis that U.S. Marshals are involved in a use of force situation. This keeps occurring over and over again, and our young men and women are having to you know, see this on TV. Memphis NAACP chapter president Van Turner shared his frustration Wednesday after a young man was shot and injured by a U.S. Marshal Tuesday afternoon at this Mapco gas station on Elvis Presley Boulevard. The TBI said a U.S. Marshal's task force tried to arrest a wanted murder fugitive after finding a vehicle believed to be linked to that fugitive, but authorities said the man in that car who tried to run wasn't the suspect they were looking for. TBI agents said they later learned the vehicle was recently reported stolen. The young man who was shot is expected to be okay. We're going to continue to see these incidents over and over again. And the only way that we can bring fairness and equity to the situation is that these officers need body cameras on. For months, Turner said the local and national NAACP requested Congress require U.S. Marshals to wear body cameras during arrests in local jurisdictions. The body cameras issue also came to light in June of 2019 when U.S. Marshals shot and killed 20-year-old Brandon Weber in Fraser. Last November, the Department of Justice started a body camera pilot program for some areas, but on Wednesday, a U.S. Marshals spokesperson said cameras are not in use for the task force here. No those cameras protect the officers and the individuals who are uh, whom are being arrested. Now, a spokesperson with the U.S. Marshals told me this afternoon he would not comment on whether yesterday's incident here outside this gas station was part of Operation Legend. Now, if you remember earlier this month, the U.S. Department of Justice announced it would be bringing in dozens of short and long-term federal investigations to deal with the crime problem here in Memphis. As you can hear, this demonstration is in its peak. They're chanting no justice, no peaks. We do have a crew closer in on that gathering and our Rebecca Butcher will have more on this demonstration tonight at 10. Reporting live in South Memphis, Brad Broders, Local 24 News.